Genetically altered mutants are everywhere. No place, not even your own home, is safe. Senator Kelly knows this better than anyone. He stands ready to fight for human preservation. Well, I don't condone violence, but I do condone people feeling safe in their own homes. Support Senator Kelly. Our future depends on it. Well, I open these hearings today proud to be a senator from the freest nation on Earth. A nation dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. But what our forefathers could not foresee was a nation where we are no longer created equal. And that is why I am calling for the immediate passage of the Mutant Registration Act. It will make our country a safer place for your families and mine. We just heard remarks by Chairman Robert Kelly prior to convening today's Senate subcommittee hearing on mutant activities. Senator Kelly's bill would require mandatory registration of all mutants by the federal government. XNN News has learned that these historic proceedings will include startling revelations about people with advanced genetic powers and stunning footage of the fabled mutants known as the X-Men. Now, before this committee can answer the question, should the government require mandatory registration of mutants, I feel it necessary to first define the mutant threat currently facing our nation. Now, what is a mutant? Where do they live? And why are they so dangerous? The answer, I'm afraid, is very frightening. Senator Kelly, I'm afraid I don't understand how man's continued evolution poses a threat to this nation. Evolution or aberration? I see that the uh, mutant propaganda machine has been operating most effectively. <laughs> but Mr. Chairman, wouldn't it be more enlightened to try to integrate mutants into society well, so the that... The fact is, Senator Radler, even to implement your, dare I say, naive plan, the essential first step is registration. The sad fact is that some people still fail to realize that intolerance of any kind has never been successful in improving the fortunes of mankind. When we return, the senator from Kansas promises to divulge the unique genetic powers possessed by each of the mutants known as the X-Men. Now this is a photo taken by a state police officer in Secaucus, New Jersey. Man in a minor traffic altercation literally melted the car in front of his. Uh, here's a woman from Indiana who can walk through walls. Now, how long would the Pentagon or the White House or our churches or our schools be safe from attack by legions of mutants so empowered? Senator Kelly, I am most eager to know of any real threat posed to our country. But I also know how my family and thousands of others suffered unjustly from the unfounded hysteria surrounding the Second World War. Before you mention proof, I challenge you now to provide it. Just who are these mutants and what are their powers? It is clear to me that the emergence of this so-called mutated gene in certain people seems to be part of man's natural growth. How can we be so bold as to suggest regulating what is clearly God's work? Mutation is not God's work, Senator. It is a genetic defect. However, one should love the mutant, but hate the mutation. You continue to insist that all mutants are evil when it is clear that there are those out there risking their lives daily to protect us. I assume you are referring to the insurgent mutant faction, commonly known as the X-Men. Insurgent is your opinion, Senator. What I want to know is, who is behind the X-Men? The Subcommittee on Mutant Activities is taking a short recess. When we reconvene, Chairman Kelly has promised proof that mutants have existed since 1963. Senator Kelly. There is one thing I don't fully follow. You say these mutants need to register because they walk among us, looking, sounding, acting, indistinguishable from normal people. Yet we've all heard reports of them looking quite um, spectacularly unlike any normal human being. 
How is this possible? Uh, I've told you they're tricky and they're dangerous and they're deceitful. Well, right now, I am prepared to show for the first time how mutants are able to alter their normal physical appearance. Gentlemen, gentlemen, Senator Fullwood, what is your impression of Senator Kelly's performance so far? Uh, Terry, I feel certain that future generations will come to regard Senator Kelly as a visionary, someone who is largely responsible for the survival of the human race. Thank you, sir. And Senator Radler, what is your appraisal? I think at best that he's a dangerously ruthless and insensitive political opportunist and demagogue. And at worst? He's read far too many comic books. After this short message, Senator Kelly will wrap up his controversial mutant debate. Senator, do you have a moment? Sure. We need to get your feedback on uh, today's hearing. Senator, do you think you have the necessary votes for the passage of your bill? Oh, absolutely. I think the American people saw the enemy today, and it is within us. And if we fail to act, if we fail to do what we know we must, we will be destroyed. And with the support of all genetically pure and patriotic Americans, I can gladly promise you victory over mutants. It's okay, Daddy. I'm still your little girl.